Tokyo Game Show Goods! Merchandise. So today we're going to be taking a look at just some of the merchandise you get from just going and walking around TGS, Tokyo Game Show. To get some of these little goods, you do have to do certain things. For example, to get this tear away little thing over here, you do have to play the game. And then they give this to you to say thank you for playing or trying out our game. Cleaner, which you can use for your cell phones, PS Vita, whatever. We've also got these cards. Now this was actually for a cell phone game. I actually got two packs. Before I went in to play the game, they gave me a pack. And then when I went out the other side, they gave me a second pack. I got it's exactly the same. So this is card number one one card number two card number three and card number four that's what the back looks like the backs look different on each of them there's this one there is this one and i think this one looks the same as the other one yeah pretty awesome so this is hatsune miku it's a card game for cell phones and it's called ss rare plus i don't know if you'll be able to get this overseas but probably in japan i'm not sure if it's out now i got two of these as well because i went in one side at the sony booth and i went out the other side and i ended up getting two copies i didn't know that i was getting the same stuff but then i got this little badge of yeah i'm not sure what this one is for if it was a ps vita hatsune miku most of the rest are just books. There are a few other things. So before I go into everything, let me see. There's this one over here. This was for Fantasy Star Nova, which is for the PlayStation Vita. This is a Fantasy Star Online game, except you don't have to play online. You can play single player. It's a pretty awesome. I've got this. Now I can put my papers in it. Pretty nice. I also got this little folder of Hatsune Miku, which is pretty cool too. looks like it's a, a guide for cards you can buy. I've been wanting to collect some cards. I'm not sure really what type. I know Pokemon is very popular in Japan amongst children. I'm more interested in Final Fantasy and of course there is Hatsune Miku. It might be pretty cool. Tell me what type of cards do you think I should collect if I do so? Uh, yeah, you can see uh, this is a place that sells cards. So they've got a whole lot of different types of cards you can buy. So yeah, there's all the different cards. This one's Hatsune Miku it looks like it and some other cards over here. These are what the cards look like, it seems. Pretty awesome. This one's by Sony. Music Unlimited, so music of Hatsune Miku. And then we also have, and we've got this one. If you watch my walking around TGS video, I think the second one, then you would have seen this. A couple of people are using it. Now this is not really an Oculus Rift or anything like that. This one is actually just a 3D headset. But it's a little bit different than the previous ones because it is wireless. Pretty cool, look at that. Wow, nice. Looks really stylish. Much better than the previous ones, in my opinion. Looks like they've improved the screens. This is going to be on sale very, very soon. This could be you in the future watching movies from this awesome device. Uh, now as you can see over here, there is this little device you have to carry around with you and this is the wireless part. So, um, But if you use this, I believe that the watching time is very limited, maybe just a few hours, maybe two, three hours. And if you use wires and connected, I think you get about eight hours or something like that. And yeah, that's about it. So we've got um, quite a few things here. We've got the Square Enix magazine, so lineup for TGS 2000. 13 Square Enix. We'll take a look at this now. We've also got this one which is Gung Ho. It's a company that mostly makes games for cell phones. Puzzles and Dragons I think it's called is the most popular one at the moment. It's really doing well in Japan. Everyone's playing it. This one is Tokyo Game Show 2013 Sega official book. That's pretty cool. There's the back. I'll take a look at this one later. And then this one. <clears throat> so this is the, of course, the main one for me, and that's because it's the PlayStation official catalog 2013. It's got the new PS Vita, it's got the PS Vita TV, of course, the PlayStation 4. I don't know why it says 2013, because for Japan it's actually 2014. And he has a PlayStation 4 official guide, uh, for me too, with PlayStation. That's pretty cool. Got to play the PlayStation 4, like Battlefield 4 as well, which is really nice. I also got to do some streaming with the PlayStation Vita, which was awesome. It actually ran at full speed, no slowdown whatsoever. I played Knack. Ah, you idiot! Open. Close. Open. Close. Ah, 
Can you see me brain? I'll come to